Um, so far, ano yung mga nabago sa buhay mo after nung Starstruck competition? Definitely, it's the people. First, I have to say it's the people because sa Starstruck, I'm so used to seeing yung mga mangas, di ba? Sa all the people who are really close to me, my old handler, si Ate MJ, mm-hmm. si na, um, Sir Loy, people that I've usually been able to feel feel safe, feel um, that there's someone there for, for me talaga. And then once I was put into uh, Jimmy Artist Center, medyo nagulat ako kasi it's not really strict. It's really, you should be on time and make sure you're on time instead of people asking you, where are you, where are you? It's not like that. They're just gonna tell you the time, tell you the place, and they're gonna ask you once, where, you, where are you? So it's really um, making me more of a responsible person than uh, making sure I get my schedules on time, my punctuality right, and uh, Definitely, na, I've been meeting a lot of new people so they, uh, in the industry, so each guesting, each project that I get, I'm able to meet uh, different people who are from Jamie Artists that they've been. I, I think it's just really nice. It's like, a, it's like a big get together and you get to work with them. So it's like team building. You know, you're just team building in uh, all the actors in Jamie. <laughs> So far, ba yung expectation within the showbiz industry na may meet ba since na medyo busy ka na rin? So, paano yung nabago yung perspective mo ng showbiz industry now that you're being part na rin? Uh, well, I always knew na as uh, Maroon 5's kind of She Will Be Love song, it's not always rainbows and butterflies. Uh, I knew na it's not all fun and games in the show in the showbiz industry since uh, sa G Club Australia, I got a little bit of a taste of what the industry is all about, showbiz. And it really broke my um, understanding of it, thinking, uh, hey, it's so easy, you just go here, you go over here, you say hi to the fans. <laughs> Always thought it was just like that, but now finally being in it, it's harder than a lot of people think. You have to compromise a lot of things when it comes to your time, schedule, part of your life. See, no matter how, how hard you try to hide your personal life in the industry, it's gonna get there somehow because it's you, you know? It will come out, it will slip out. So it's better just at the start, just being you. It's what I've learned uh, in, the industry, in the industry is not hiding a thing. Because it's also saying that, you know, a lot of people would kind of look differently if you do something bad, right? So it's how, should we, it's how we should live our life, not only saying, oh, I can't do this because it, my job requires it for me to do it. She's like, no, I can't do this because it's not good you know, to the people in, in common sense. It's not right. So showbiz has really been teaching me, the, I think, life lessons. That I get. It's been teaching me life lessons. In terms of uh, uh, art, I mean, yung mm-hmm. ano yung artista, ano yung expectation mo? Uh, ano yung mangyayari sa'yo after this? I am really looking forward to getting my act together as an acting talaga. Kasi alam ko na sa sumasaya at kumakanta, ayos na ako. I, I, can, I can get by it. Uh, tapos, uh, my manager din is a singer, so she's able to uh, coach me a lot din. Pero sa acting, I want to be able to... The only thing that's really holding me back is the language, which I have made my 2016 resolution was to learn language a little bit more. Well, to learn it talaga. And now that Encantaja has coming up, for sure naman, since that is some deep Tagalog, I'll be getting it down so I won't, first of all, embarrass myself, and second of all, make things easier for myself. I don't want it to be how I was so stressful and starstruck na, oh, there's a script, you know? <laughs> I'm so scared. This time, Thank, thank God now we get the script beforehand, I'm, I'm able to study it and also since my dad is here, I'm able to really ask questions, I don't need to depend on myself anymore, I'm able to depend on family and my handler, Giselle, who helps me out all the time, especially when it comes to Tagalog pronunciation, so definitely having the people around me is a big plus, having help. How are you looking forward to being part of Encantadio? Kasi since Encantadio kasi parang sobrang laki ng marka niya sa talagang TV series ng TV or ng GMA7 eh. So, how are you looking forward to that? I am look, I'm, at the same time, I'm very happy and I'm very scared. Because I don't know how I'm gonna do. But that's just being a human. And uh, when you know you're not in control of the situation, that's where the human fear comes out. But, see, 
I love putting myself in that situation because it's the things that when you aren't in control, that's when you're living and that's when you're, when you're going to find out your true potential. So I can't wait to work with you and other actors because uh, and actresses uh, in Kintaja. And for sure, naman, these people are more experienced. So it's uh, giving me a chance to uh, make me able to ask questions and learn more about my craft and acting. So definitely, this is a big plus for me. So for anong preparation mo na ginagawa niyo? Bukod sa pag-aaral ng Tagalog din? Yun ang... Pinaka importante. So uh, it's a moment of my life right now. Is learn the game. Anong role mo sa ibang life? We have no clue yet. No, no final say. All we know now we're gonna be part of it, but and that we're gonna be part of the cast, but we do not know. Pero you have read the, the script or at least the first. Uh, uh, first uh, uh, script. Oh, hindi po. Wala talaga. Wala talaga ko kaya date or no? Wala ng date. We're still waiting for it. If show. ever, yeah, you're going to be allowed. Or napanag mo ba yung ng kandado ng phone? Um, I've seen a little bit of it. Um, I, yeah, like uh, kasi sa minsan it pops up in uh. Australian TV that and that yeah. that's how big it was that when you can go international so if ever you were, you're allowed to select a role uh, or a character I like Katadi, and just come in. Anthony Anthony I like Anthony because he seems like he's kind of trapped between himself and what he wants because um, I know there was a scene in Nkantaji that in, uh, he can't stay in Nkantaji too long he's because he's immortal and he needs to go back to Earth. But the thing is, if he cr- crosses that portal, and that means he won't be able to ever come back to Anakin Badger, which is, I don't know, for me, that's it's very emotional, you know? It's very emo- emotional leaving a lot of people, especially now there's a girl, too, that's involved that he loves, and I, 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 can, I can relate to that, like, where you have to leave something, not for the girl, but to save both of you. Like she, she won't be able to live without you, but knowing that you're safe and well is good enough for her. And you don't want to leave her alone in this life. And you don't want her to be able to grieve over you for a decision that you made to be selfish. So it's it's a hard decision. But uh, I, I think that he's a very mature character. And uh, he's, he's, on the, he's a little bit on the sad side. He's never really angry. Which is really my personality. And, uh, I don't like to get angry. That's something I still need to learn in acting. Because, uh, I'm not really... Uh, a very <laughs> angry type, more of a sad type, definitely. Uh, I'm good at crying. <laughs> I'm good at crying. So, Everybody saw that on Starstruck where I cried like a little girl. <laughs> Emotional. So, far, ano yung parang pinaka comfort, comfort, parang comfortable ka? Um, is it drama, comedy, or based on your experience? Na? Drama or comedy? I like um, drama and rom com. Drama and rom com, because drama, it's um, there's sometimes in drama where you do want to laugh, really in your mind you're laughing, but then your face really has to be like, but in your head you're like <laughs> you're cracking up. And I wish na, and I, I like that challenge where if you break, you're gonna get in trouble by your director, <laughs> and waste of a take, waste of a take. And, uh, for rom com, it's nice na man kasi it's romantic comedy. Like, who doesn't like romantic comedy? <laughs> It's a, it's a very wide um, area in the acting industry, so rom com and drama for me. Will you be pursuing a music career also? Because you, you, your first project will be more on the acting side. Yeah, um, I will be pursuing a music career also. Um, I have an album that I'm making, so but no name yet. Just uh, building up the building up the songs for the album. All original. All original. That na sinulat na. Mm-hmm. And then I'm even trying to. Uh, but since the man, I, I want people to relate to the music, so it's not gonna be all English. I'm going to try to compose a Filipino song. But the genre of the songs is what? Is it pop or? Um, some are uh, some are pop, alternative rock, and it's more on the sad side. <laughs> a lot of my songs are very sad, very emotional, emo. <laughs> So, uh, artist centers giving you the freedom to pagsabayin yung dalawa, music and yes, and GMA is allowing me to do that. Because, oh, uh, course, Starshock was a not only an acting. First of all, Starshock was originally a talent search to singing and dancing. It was never acting. Acting was only sometimes. Pero ito ang season na na lahat ng mga challenges is acting. So definitely, Starshock saw the 
potential that I have on the scene and dancing. For sure, GMA wouldn't want to. You know, they want to give me vast opportunities in which areas that I can that I'm able to do. Acting, I can just do it. But singing and dancing, as I said before, it's really my it's my craft. It's what I do. So I would love to do you know singing when it comes to guestings or maybe events, outside events. I'm cool with anything as long as uh, I'm doing what I love. You know what I mean? Okay. Last na lang siguro, sino yung parang your role model when it comes to yung parang actor na gusto mong sundan yung yapak niya, yung career path niya? Career path? Si Dino Dantes. Why? Because I love how he was able to sustain that relationship, actually have a kid in a very, very, very good marriage. Boss is not an issue. Now that's what a lot of people think. It's not easy. Because imagine you need to understand each other that this is your job. Which I really look up to him for that. That he was able, he's able to balance everything in his life. And mm -hmm. even though he's an actor in GMA, he's like the king of GMA, mm -hmm. <laughs> and yet he's able to balance everything. Now, that's a make it, that's a wow factor for me. So that's something I would like to uh, create for myself in my own way. Thank you.